<clears throat> okay, a couple of minutes back to order. Good morning. Good morning. We just need to visit with you about Michelle. She's got her, been here on her term of probation, and she has completed her training now. Finally, the state quit training for quite some time and then just opened it up Friday and she took it yesterday and passed so I wanted to get her um, raised up to where I feel like she should be paid for her training and her um, level of where she's at as far as how quickly she's picked things up and she's eager to learn and um, So she's completed her driver's license training and her motor vehicle training and um, would like to move her up to level four if I could. Well, I personally don't have a problem with that. I don't know about you guys. No, that's fine. Use it too now. Yeah. And she's going to four, you say? That's where I'd like to put her. Need a motion. I make a motion that we move move Michelle up from a stage two to a stage four classification pay scale. Second. Is that how you say it? Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Okay, well, the motion will carry for that. Okay. That's all I had. Do we, do we uh, have any more questions for her? Um, what is the status of the office? <clears throat> well, right now I am unable to work in CIC yet. We haven't been able to since they went down. And I have called, I've emailed, I have... The girls have had to talk with the CIC at the to because they have their logins. I had to go in the hospital the day they set our office up, so I wasn't able to get set up. So I told them I'd call back later, and they would be. They said they'd be willing to call me back and work with me. But I haven't been able to get anybody to call me back. Okay, I had sent you an email on March 10th. I resent it again last week on the 24th, and I have not received a response. Oh, well, I think the one on the 10th I actually put into your file because I didn't have time to deal with it at the time, and I was trying to work on my distribution, and I'm still trying to get my distribution done because it was due on the 22nd, but um, I can't access anything in the CIC, and all of my what I had accomplished and had done for my distribution is in the server farm in my documents, so I can't access those either. So, so um, um, but well, I didn't how about see the, the one that you've sent recently. No, I so. was just resending it because I hadn't gotten any, a response or anything uh, in regards to that email. Well, so. Leslie, I can spend probably a week or two researching all of that for you, or I can spend it trying to work on my office work. Um, well, I mean, I can ask some simple questions. Um, what's the status of depositing checks? They are, um, well, I would have had them current had we not gone down because I had everything for 20 done and I was waiting to get all of those receipts put into the system but before I started working on the 21, but I've been stopped. So what's the oldest check you have to be deposited? What's whatever the was whatever was given to us in January. So you still have checks from January that have not been deposited. Yes. What about the quarterly reports that are supposed to be published in the paper? Well, those are impossible because we don't have them. That's my only publication I haven't been able to do. Okay, and when was the last time that one was done? I don't remember. Okay. Um, 
in regards to the, uh, so where are you at on the daily work? In May. So the daily work is only in May of 2020? Mm -hmm. So you will be a year behind in one month? Well, I mean, it's, it's all current to date as far as paperwork, but in the system it's as of May. So how is that tracked? Because in my email I had asked for a surprise cash audit. So how would that be accomplished? By our Excel spreadsheet that I created when I started as a treasurer. So can we get that cash audit for 2021? Well, the recap is not up to date. I mean, it is still has some dates that don't have. If there's, it's hard to explain it, but I have, I have the spreadsheet set up. So every place that's set up already in the spreadsheet automatically goes into the recap. But if we had to have to add things to the bottom that we don't use, those funds that don't get used very often, they get added to the bottom. And a lot of those we're not getting, I found, we're not getting put into the recap manually like we're supposed to. And so, I... So in regards to getting a cash audit, if we're, if the commissioners are requesting that or were to request it today, can you provide a cash audit for 2021? No. What about 2020? No. So the quarterly publications haven't been done. The checks haven't been deposited since January. We can't provide a cash audit. What is the status of the motor vehicle titles? Well, we've been, I've been approving them as fast as I can when, um, especially those that are calling in, but they're behind as well. As everything is my office, as you know, is behind. And like I said, the last meeting I was in here, we finally just got to a time in my office where we actually have actual time to do work to get maybe caught up. I mean, we got through the tax season and we got through the heavy trucks and trailers, which that is just as about as busy as the tax season. And so now we are in a point where we can actually do some catch up work, but We've been down for the last two and a half weeks. Yeah, but what about from May to when this season started? What about that time when there could have been catching up and been... Because I've been short-handed and training and not having a lot of help. Now they are finally trained. They are in a point in a training where they can actually be of assistance and we can move forward. <laughs> I mean, it takes time. It's not like they can just walk in the office and just start doing the job. I, we're all catching guff because of this. I don't I know. think you realize and I, it. It's, but it's, they don't realize what I've been through either but on my what's side. What's the answer to this, I think, is what we're wanting. I, I just don't know. Well, if we can get back onto CIC, I feel like we can really start moving forward because I was ready to train Michelle on the daily statement working because she's not had time to learn that since she started in November. And so they went down, yeah. and I haven't been able to do that. Well, some of the, uh, I, I know COVID and everything and CSA going down has caused a lot, but I, I just, I, I don't know. I've got people calling me. I know they do, and I know, I don't know. What are we supposed to do? What's your, what's your remedy for this? To get the work done. Do they call your office and <clears throat> oh, yeah. complain too? Because you know oh, it's, yeah. it's got to be. It's yeah, gotta it's, be hard it's on hard. your office to to deal with it. Also, it is. You know, and and like Leslie was saying, 
what you wanted, what the information she wanted is just as important as the rest of this stuff too. Some of it's necessary. I mean, we have. We're These are all statutory requirements right. that must be met. I, I'm aware, but <clears throat> I can only do so much as one person. I'm trying right. to do the job of three people while I was training my other two, and my job, yeah. and the training process takes forever anyway in my office because there's so much to train. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think we kind of understand that part, but uh, could do you think you'll ever be able to get caught up even by the time you, you leave? Well, that's my goal, and that is my plan, yes. You know, because that seems we, to me like it's an awful lot of it is. catching up. And then but to what keep answer with do the you rest. have? What answer do I have? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. We're, we're just, be honest I with you. I finally have gotten my office to a point where I feel like we can actually move forward and do something. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, it I has personally taken a don't long think, time. I personally don't think it, you're capable of doing it right now. I, I, you know, I, I don't ever see you ever getting caught up. It's We're worried uh, it's going to overwhelm you and... What we just we need an answer. When do you think you'll have it all caught up? Give me a date. Because we've got people. That's asking impossible this because we don't know how busy we are from day to day. I mean, how can you possibly ask for a specific date for a? Well, quarterly report. That's every three months, right? So. <clears throat> Your thoughts? I mean, I'm willing to take any suggestion because I, I have. Well, I don't. I really don't know what we could suggest you do because uh, nothing has worked so far. Well, if somebody could help back me and get a hold of CIC and put a little pressure on them to get up, get me up and running so that I can work. Because I've been working on Michelle's, trying to finish my distribution, but that puts me right in the line with the who, public. Who are you talking to that should CIC. back you? See, I see. We should back you. Yeah, but somebody. Dolores, Dolores, I can't is, seem to get them to respond Dolores, to me. That is just a recent issue. Yeah. You're back in May. I know, but I've also been short-handed and training. Why and, is that? Because I've had people leave. <sighs> we have our differences, and they left. I guess I could leave, and you guys can figure it out. Well, but I can tell you, I could probably get it done a whole lot faster than anybody can bring in here. Well, what, the part we're looking at is. is we don't really believe that you'll ever be able to get it caught up and by the time you leave. It just seems like it's overwhelming and it's just, I, I just don't see where well, you're Well, the get overwhelming caught. part has gotten over. I'm finally getting confidence to where I feel we can do this. Mm -hmm. So I understand that you guys are very frustrated and can't be much more frustrated than I am. Because I really thought we would be caught up by now, but I didn't think about the training process and how they wouldn't be able to just go in and just do it. But well, the simple thing is that we are so far behind. We, I don't know. I think it's overwhelming you stress-wise. I, I don't know what else to say, Dolores. I, we've got it. I think it's going to ruin your health. Well, it is, and but you, I'm determined ask, to get my office back in we, order. What we'd like you to do, what I would like you to do. I'm not leaving my office of without force. Without, without, without Either I'm going to die or I am going to be kicked out. I am not leaving this office unless I have it caught up. 
or those two other things happen. Well, I think what we're saying also is that there's no way you can catch up. You know, because the job, it takes enough time just to keep it current. And you've got over a year or so behind. I, I really don't see where you could ever catch up. I personally don't. I don't know about anybody else, but I I don't see you catching up. No. I'm going to give it my best shot. That's all I can say. I guess I have more faith in myself than everybody else. Are we done rehashing this over and over? Because we're not getting well, anywhere. We're, we're, always, we're always going to rehash it if we're running behind. And that's the thing. I... I had a gentleman tell, us, tell me one time, and I thought, wow, that is right. The treasurer's office is the hub of the entire county wheel. And when that treasurer's office is in the state it is right now, all the folks are in trouble. I and understand that's what that. bothers us the most. You're behind, but yes. it's thrown everybody. They have, they have no idea. I understand what's in that. I've been in this situation, in this office for 20 years. I understand how my office affects everything in this county. I do, and I do apologize for that. But I still am planning to get it caught up. Dolores, we're facing federal audits soon. But I don't have anything to do with those parts, so. Not receiving or expenditures? The actual budget side, the bank accounts, showing that these monies came in and this is when it was expended? That's being handled by, I thought, by Kelly. She doesn't own the, she doesn't have the bank accounts. They're going to come in and audit the county. Well, for I've those been funds. giving the bank accounts to Sharissa as they come in for that. But I'm talking airport. Oh. EMS. Those are sheriff. all received. Yes. When those I mean, come in, have, we receive them. We're, we're going to be audited this year. Mm -hmm. Pretty much guaranteed. Right, June. Yeah. And I'm trying to get things audited done so that we can have our audit so that we can actually. Do our budgets and yeah, but we've had two departments that had to get information turned in for on grants, and they couldn't get what they needed. Yeah, they could. They just had to do it a different way. But should they have to do it a different way? No, they shouldn't. Well, but what? What do you mean a different way? How do they? They go had about to go that? through the clerk's office and get it from the accounts payable department for their expenditures. <laughs> but it was. <laughs> The accounts payable was not what they were asking for. They wanted yeah, to that was. The, I thought it was. The I have the wanted. emails. That's what they were asking for. <laughs> My, I beg to differ. In that, I'll I know. send them to you. Please do. Okay. Please do. Okay. I think well, I'm already privy to them, but it, that was not the information that was being requested. It was the actual it's money part in. Part of it. But it was part of it, but it was the actual money in and money out. That was not what was asked for. Well, I I, th I think like you said earlier, we're not getting anywhere now. You know, we're we're just, for the lack of better words, we're just, we're just beating a dead horse here, trying to figure out something. So I think we'll we're going to have to look at something different here. And I don't know. Well, would. For the time being, would one of you be willing to call CIC and maybe put some pressure on them to get me called so we can start doing something? <laughs> oh, it's your office. Huh? It's your office. I've called them four because times. CIC I've emailed them three times. Yeah, I don't know. But being down for a week is not. Been, two weeks and well, a half. That's not been the problem. Right at the time that we were able to really start moving forward. Yeah, it is kind of a problem. Uh, sorry. Thank you. When I got my computer up and going in CIC, I forwarded the phone to Dolores, and Dolores talked to them. 
So if she did not get her computer set up, it was her fault. Well, I, I wouldn't even know what to do about calling them. So. Okay, well, that's no, done. No. Nope. I guess we'll leave that go. And then. No, I, I got what I needed. Okay. Well, I mean, you think we should have another second session? That's up to you guys. Yes. Okay. Well, let's take care of this first, huh? DJ. Are you ready for me? Good morning, everybody. Uh, I have guests with us today from American Implement, uh, Justin Van Vliet and Keaton Bruin. I spoke to you guys a few weeks ago about equipment stuff with the prairie dog and noxious weed. And I spoke to our auditors trying to figure out where is that my noxious weed special. And he did, John Mabe said that I need to spend $27,500 if I could, or be in that range. Um, so I did start pricing equipment. And I found that uh, availability of machinery and equipment this year is it's pretty sparse. That's why I'd like you guys to look at the bids I have today on getting a new machine. Well, I think we've talked about it. We're, we're questioning whether you need that. Okay. The uh, Gator, the, you know, the other machine. Um, you know, because that's a lot of money for it. And wh what, what do you mean they want you to spend 27000 in, in my noxious weed special, it is the reserve set aside for every year money gets transferred over for equipment to replace and update equipment and uh, I have thirty eight thousand fifty eight dollars in there currently but on my reserve I only have a max limit so I have to spend something out of there to keep money moving forward because three years ago Leslie did a resolution to have my remaining budget moved into that noxious weed capital outlay I don't understand that. You, could you help me there? I'm trying to remember what... Um, it was for our year-end transfer resolutions that we did for Noxious Sweet Special. Right. And that is where this money comes from, and this is the account I'm speaking about. Right. I mean, so if you don't spend it, it just goes into this reserve that you can use for equipment in the future. Yes. Okay, I thought we had done something more. No, no, it was just that's what we're speaking about today, Leslie. <laughs> it's just it's, like every other department. <laughs> yes, yes. And the reason I'm asking for this machine is yes, I have a four wheeler that needs replaced. And uh, I looked, also looked in the side. The sizes of four wheelers that we needed, the 400 series four wheeler we have, is underrated. It is not heavy enough to continue bouncing around and taking the weight from the spray tank on it. I am breaking the back rack and stuff on it. I've reloaded it several times. And that's why I've looked for, also with safety, is that this, these side-by-sides, they carry more weight. You have seat belts, you have a roll cage. They're wider, they're more stable, and they're still able to do the jobs and the needs of what I have. I have several bids there for a John Deere Gator, the Polaris Ranger. There are other side beds underneath for a Pan Am Defender. Uh, but first availability that we have in our area is John Deere, and it'll be Mount May 1st. And I was looking at the John Deere Gator. And that's 53000 No, no. That, yeah, I have it highlighted here for you. Oh, <clears throat>
Well, I, I think I've already told you that I just don't think we need two side to side. <clears throat> okay. I, I'm sorry. I just, I really don't. I, it's the perception of the community. Mm -hmm. Seeing two side to sides driving down the road and going to dope prairie dogs or... Mm -hmm. And, and I know you say they're safer and they're, well, like I said to these guys, it's safer to drive a big pickup than it is a Volkswagen, but mm -hmm. you just got to drive them, you got to be more safe, you know. I, he's, uh, I don't I just don't think we need two side to sides. If you need another Four, four, you know, four wheeler. What what size is the four wheeler should we got? I can do for spring. We're going to want to do at least a minimum of a five seventy to an eight fifty. Yeah. Just to accommodate the <coughs> that kind of what he's wanting to do. I understand. It'd be nice to have one. But I don't know how, why the auditor said that you have to spend $27,000. He said I'm allowed to spend that. You're allowed? Yes. Yeah. And the side-by-side the -side that John Deere has, that's a year warranty on that? Yes. Okay. And so will the clutters. Okay. And, and that's true, you guys, piece. too? That's yes. true. Okay. The ATVs are six months. And I would gladly go back with them and get prices on the four wheelers. But we were in the close price range when we talked about that, were we not, Keaton? If you, right. want, if you wanted to go to the big, like if you were to go up to a thousand on a four wheeler just to maintain, you know, to be comparable for your weight, I mean, you could say an 850 would haul with 25 gallon and be fair. What's an 850 on price and availability? Five weeks minimum on an 850 get here. Uh, a second. But this is for three side by side. Yeah, right? that's three different bids in one. They right. printed it out and your next sheet showed each individual gotcha. machine. The reason I was looking also at the side by side is yes, two years ago we purchased the Viking. And I found out it is safer. I can go just as many places. And having the 60 gallon spray tank on there, it is easier for me to get larger jobs done. I have also started taking on small field jobs where we were spraying field bindweed in the fields. And I was doing, I did three fields last year, 24 acres, 26 acres, and 32 acres. Mm -hmm. That is a little tough to get done on a four wheeler with a 25 gallon tank over a 60 gallon tank where a four-wheeler will not hold more than a 25 to 50 gallon tank. So do you think you, uh, you could get us some bids on, four, on the biggest four-wheelers, two or three bids by the next meeting? Yes, I possibly could, yes. Keaton, about what is a four-wheeler going to run as compared to a side-by-side? -side? So he's working on it right now, like a 570. Give me a second here. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't think there's going to be much difference. No, there, there is not much difference. No, I don't know what the what their discounts and offers they have going on where it'd be. And this is a trailer that we have already Yeah, purchased. Yeah, I purchased the trailer. Okay. Can we sell the old one that you guys had? I, no, I got the other trailer for the side-by-side -side we have now. Oh, okay. The one trailer I broke in half, we kind of welded it back together, but it is not heavy enough. It is okay. being used by Road and Bridge yeah, you, for you, signs oh, and, yeah. and told me that hauling that. equipment.
Okay. The first well, one's going to be a Sportsman 570 Utility oh. Edition. So it's going to have some metal racking on the rear to accommodate that uh, sprayer. The next one's a Sportsman 850, and then there's a Sportsman 1000. So, and I just, I forgot that the 850 legit showed up this morning as I was pulling out of town. So I do have an 850 on the ground at the floor right now. The other twos would be minimum five weeks out. Sorry, what you think? 850, Compared to the other, this one was how much? 16. 16, almost mm -hmm. double. And and then on on that, for the trade-in for the four-wheeler I'm wanting to get rid of, they are wanting to give us $2,000 for that trade-in. So that would take 2000 off the price, so that getter would be 14876 64. Well, I don't know. I, for one, don't know that much about about the four wheelers and the side by sides too. Does John Deere have a better CV warranty on the CV joints? None of them have a good warranty on CV joints. They consider that a wear item, along with your belts and clutches. Okay, I bought it. Um, unless they catastrophically fail, it mm -hmm. is warrantable. Okay, I, I had four go out on one that I bought back in '03 within a month. Yeah, and that is the other thing with the four wheelers that we have problems with. Would you be around on a catastrophic fail? <laughs> Do what? <laughs> I mean, I mean it, it doesn't happen very often. Generally, it's, I think, in the time frame I've seen this, I think I've is only seen a few clutches in a side by side a differential of rear end instead of the CV joint. No, no, no they're, they're all they're, CV. They're, they're all our CV. Uh, they've gone to the CVT transmission, yes. And how much do you have left in your budget? Do you know? Um, out, out of my actual expenditure budget, I'm, I do have that. I am at $80,627.74. But this, the equipment in the Noxious, for this is coming out of the Noxious Weed Special where I have a total of $38,058, but I'm only allowed to spend up to 27500 total out of that capital outlay. And with it on these side-by-sides, no matter what machine we purchase, under that 27528 the Gator comes in $7,959.66 under what I'm allotted. The Polaris is the same area of $7,972.20. But now the bigger Ranger they have on there, the XP, I'd only be $4,897 underneath the expended allotment. How, how soon do you have to have this? Last week? Well, no. I, Like I said, I thought I could wait to order, but availability, and if I don't get something ordered within several weeks, we could be looking September, December, maybe? Maybe. Yeah. We, have, we have one gator coming in in May. Mm -hmm. If I order one, you're, in, you're talking end of July, 1st of August, to get one no. on the ground. Yeah. And you're also probably talking a price increase. Do you think we should table this till the next meeting and give us a chance to talk a little more about it? Or you guys? I, I told you what my thoughts are. It's not the money. It's the perception. It's the idea. <laughs> we're driving around with two side by sides for a weed department that used to have one man, yeah. one for the four. And the weed department has spent a lot of money over the last few years. Yes, bought a hope. really nice pickup. Yes, we did. We put a new sprayer on it. We bought a chemical box. We put a new door on. We bought a new trailer. It's 
and yes, if we Storage. need them, we need them, but it's the perception of the taxpayers that I'm worried about. Okay, understand that. We hired on another man. Mm -hmm. We've got his wages, we've got his benefits. I don't, I'm not against, I love gators. I got one. Mm -hmm. You probably wouldn't give me a thousand dollars for it if I wore it so hard. <laughs> Matter of fact, you probably wouldn't love it on your lot. <laughs> um, as far as function, is the gator that much higher on the function versus a four wheeler? I guess that's my my question. Is it forty five hundred dollars worth of function better? Because that's what we're looking at. Uh, to me, yes. It's not that I have any real issue with a full winter except the safety. Right. I, I have a rebuttal I'd like to speak about, but maybe I'd like to do that in an executive session. But anyway, a rollover has happened. Many, I, when I first started driving these in 16, I rolled one down in the creek and broke my ribs. Oof. They're not as stable when you put a water tank on the back of them. Because when that water shifts to one side, you can't stop it. Now, what I found on these side-by-sides, after you graciously allowed me to buy the other one, it doesn't do that. I have not had an instability problem at all with them. That is why I look forward at these side-by-sides over the four-wheeler. But I do understand your concerns, Roger, and I understand, yes, I, I've graciously been moving stuff up and upgrading, and I have been given a lot, and I'm very appreciative of it. But I don't mind if we table this. We can talk about it later. I will get through this season one way or another. I, f I for one, would like to see we table it till next time, and then we give me a little more time to think about it, because that's that's a lot of money we're spending out on it. And what do you think? Just, just so you guys know, I mean, this unit that we have coming in, I have technically on hold for you guys. Oh, that that's correct. If, the John Deere. Yes. Mm -hmm. If if something is not, you know, if if you table it for another for the for next meeting, I then have to take it off of my inventory as sold pending you know commissioner meeting approval. So at that point, it could sell within. I mean, it could sell today if I take it off. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. not trying to be you know that pressure side right of it, but going quick right now. Yeah. I will tell you that. Well, I, I don't know. I, I hate to be making a decision on, on it with you know with well, I, I under that you. type of pressure. You know that. Yeah. that and I will put in my two pennies here. Um, just given with what I've seen over the years, some of my bigger farmers that have multiple hired hands. They are moving towards side by sides because of worker comp in places, because they have seat belts, they have roll cages. Where an ATV, their workman's comp claims are a lot higher because of entry rates versus having them seat belted in and roll protection. So I, I have seen an uptick in my side by side because of that reason. Well, uh What do you, uh, Brett? What do you think about table until the next meeting and we get a chance to talk a little more about it? I'm kind of torn both ways, but yet I, I understand what Roger's saying. I when when I talked to DJ on the phone, I thought we were just getting one side by side at that point, and so I we are. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway. I, I don't know what to say. Well, on, on one hand, it, like you say, it, it might look bad with the public, but on the other hand, kind of makes us look a little better, too, that we have better equipment. And if 
it's in his budget. And You guys do what you think you need to do, don't you? You're not going to upset me. <laughs> well, I just know how I feel. Well, I've personally rolled four wheelers so many times that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't drive like everybody. Yeah. Okay, well then. Uh... I, I personally, I think I, I would be leaning more towards the, the side by side because of just the safety and everything else. But it's the funding and all that, and you have the funding. Well, that's what it always boils down to me is if you've got it in your budget. But I also understand what Roger's saying. Um, I like the John Deere Gator better just because it's safety wise. But I also respect him. <laughs> yeah, my first bosses, so I'm kind of like. Well, I can see where you guys are going, so I'll make the motion that we buy the John Deere Gator. Second it. But Let's be careful. Very careful. I agree. With the budget. We don't have to spend everything we got. No, we don't. Okay, motion has been made to buy the Gator for 16875 and 54 There was uh, some sheet that said there may be add-ons. What are you... No, that's... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's there. Oh. It's, we're adding a winch because I've had to pull myself out of the creek and the river Republican several times. Is that on the Yeah, that is all included in the price. Okay. And then on that, a motion for them, me to accept to uh, trade in for the $2,000 on the Honda 4 where we have now. So it'll be $2,000? Yes, it'll be. So okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, the motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming in. Good. No, thank you. you. Appreciate it. All right, well, gentlemen, with that purchase of the side-by-side, -side, that brings me to the sprayer part of it, so I can use it for noxious weed and prairie dog. Okay. I did get bids on a sprayer for it. <laughs> you can't use the old sprayer? I only have one sprayer for that. I have two there. And I'm looking at the top bid, a bid A you're seeing there. And I can wait on this too. Why would you wait on it if you can't use it? Well, I Why agree. Why was it this proposed when the, that this was going to be an additional expense? Because it's a <laughs> separate bid. The last time I put them together, we kind of got confused in what we were looking at over machinery, over spray, spray parts. And uh, so I tried to not do that this time. And that takes care of the trade-in part. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> so in other words, it's, basic, it's basically like the same thing we do with the trailer. We, we're buying... Yeah, yes. We're buying... One item before, or like you said, the horse before the car. Twenty-two thousand dollars. Time to figure a trailer, yeah. Yeah. sprayer, yeah. and the gator. I have the figure. Do you want it, Roger? Yes, with the sprayer and the trade-in and the side-by-side -side John Deere we just bought. The total expense is nineteen thousand five sixty-eight thirty-four. Right at two thousand or twenty. Mm -hmm. Well, looks like we already we already bought the horse. We're going to need a trailer now. Saddle for it. <laughs> yeah, now we got to have the saddle. Yeah, we bought, the, we bought the cart. Now we bought the horse. Now we need the saddle. <laughs> Is there anything else you got to have? No. That completes it all because so, we purchased the trailer. Are we going to need anything else throughout the rest of the year, you don't think? No. 
No, this will take care of, with this purchase, will take care of the uh, equipment ATV wise for the next eight years. Okay, so you will have. Give or take maintenance, but no new purchases for that. I do have a four, another four year plan on changing out the other pickup, but that's still four years down the road before I even look at that. So, am I correct in thinking that you're going to have around 18000 left in your budget then? Yes. Okay. Yeah, in, in the Noxious Weed Special, which I need to always keep 12000 in there in case I do have a shortfall in my budget, and then that transfers back and forth through the auditors. Well, it looks to me like we've got, we got to we gotta get it. Oh, you don't have gloves on us. I'm thinking you had plastic gloves. No, this is going. No. <laughs> uh, you're you're the doctor, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Well, well, I like that. I make the motion that we pick up um, the sprayer pump hydro handle for a total of. $2,156.40 to go on the gator. Second. Okay, it's been made motion. It's been made to, to buy it for $2,156.40. It's the first and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, my motion carries in that too. Thank you. Now I have to get the year's chemical. This does come out of our budget. I have two bids, A and B. What else do you have down there? Ah, I got a lot today. Like I said, you may want to take them in the executive session. Um, but no, I have two chemical bids. Uh, this will be what I believe the year's chemical for the department to be used for road and bridge, the state spring, and any private noxious weed spring I do this year. Uh, both bids are local through Nutrient Ag and our Stratton Equity. So did you need a executive session? No, I don't I don't think so, unless you want me. Well, you you just been mentioning it twice. I just yeah, yes, I, I'd maybe like to ask for 10 minutes of executive session at the end. Okay. <coughs> you guys ready for 10 minutes of executive session? Sure. Why don't you finish this? Yes. Finish this. yes. Let, let, let's, oh, I thought let's that was start. part no, of it. No, no, no. I need no. to accept a motion and a bid, yeah. Mr. Okay. Martinez, on the uh, uh, chemical for the year. Okay, I thought this was part of that. No. Okay, well. It seems to me the chemicals are something that we ought to have also. I move we accept the bid of... Bernie Devlin for ten thousand eight hundred eighty-six seventeen. I second it. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Okay, motion carries for that. Who is Bernie Devlin? He is the uh, Nutrients Area uh, Specialty Noxious Weed Chemical Representative that okay. does all the sales. But our true sales and everything come through Bird City. Through Sarah Wilson over there. Nutrient. Yeah, nutrient, yes. Okay, well. You say you need 10 minutes. Yeah, may I have 10 session. minutes of executive session for non elected personnel, please? Maybe we have 10 minutes of executive session for non elected Second. Okay, we need a motion for all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries for 10 minutes.